السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Hello everyone and welcome to your English class. In our lesson today, we will finish with our third unit, which is titled "What Will Be Will Be." Our lesson today is the project and the self-reflection lesson in your books, page 46 and 47. All you need for the lesson today is your books for the lesson, page 46 and 47, a sheet of paper and a pen to take down your notes. So let's get started. You had a homework which was about the suggestions, which was from the form, meaning, and function lesson on page 44. A suggestion when you are giving a proposal. It's not an advice. It is a proposal. I am giving a suggestion. Let's look into here. The weather is too hot in here. What suggestion can you give? I would say, let's have some ice cream. Let's, let's go and swim. But let's try to do this one. Let's have some ice cream. Suggestions can be formed using three. One, let's. So I will say, let's have some ice cream. Notice this is a sentence. Also, I can use how about. How about having some ice cream? Notice it's a question and we will use the ing form of the verb. Or we can use why don't we have some ice cream? It is actually a question without sh changing the verb. Okay, this is one. How about it in here? Someone is having a fever, high temperature, not feeling well. What is your suggestion in here? I would say, see a doctor. Let's, let's see a doctor. How about, how about seeing a doctor? Or why don't we see a doctor? So come up with your own suggestion choose let's, how about, why don't we, or why don't you, then focus whether it's a sentence or question whether you will change the verb or you will use it as the infinitive form of the verb. Okay, now in your workbooks, page 108, exercise P, complete the tag questions then complete the response. A tag with a question, sentence followed by a question. Number, number five. The weather usually gets hot here in summer. Notice, gets. Gets, it means present simple. What is the helping verb that I'm going to use? Does it. So here it will be does not at. Here it will be in the negative because this one is uh, in the positive. And the answer is Yes, it reaches 40 degrees. Positive, positive, and the tag is in the negative. We won't drive the same kind of cars in the future. Won't, will not. So this one is in the negative. So the tag will be positive, and the answer, the answer here is no, negative. So negative. And here we will have, no, we will, draw, we will drive clean fuel car. Just notice the sentence, positive, so the answer is positive and the tag is negative. One more, two more. Number seven, your mother isn't from Jeddah. So, isn't, negative. We will use the tag, is she, notice, is, and it is positive. And the answer will be negative, which is no. No, she isn't. She's from Riyadh. How about number eight? You are going to study in the United States next year. This is the helping verb and a sentence in the positive. So we will use are you. It will be are not you. Here we will use it in the negative. Then the answer will be, yes, I am. I am going to study engineering. So this is in the positive. 
you will notice the sentence, the tag, then the answer. Positive, negative, positive, negative, and you will go as uh, you, you will change as you go. Okay, for the lesson today, by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to plan a time capsule and fill out a, a self-reflection form. So at the beginning, we will start with the project, then the self-reflection. Let's get to start with the project part. Here we're speaking about the time capsule. If you still remember, the idea of time capsule, Tulsa time capsule, when they have gathered everything within the car and they buried it. If you still remember from the reading lesson, what is a time capsule? A time capsule is actually a container. Anything, it could be, this one is a time capsule, it could be a jar or a box, a container storing a selection of objects chosen as being a typical representation to present the present time. It will be buried for the discovery in the future. So we will put everything that represents you in one place, you will bury it, you will hide it, let's say. Then later in time in the future, you will bring it up and you will remember, so just like a memory box. This is a time capsule. You will capture the moment and hide it. Now, if we want to plan our time capsule, there are certain steps to do so. The first thing, I will think about the container. What, is, what my time capsule going to be? So what, what is your time capsule? Are you going to use a car just like Telsa? Or are you going to use a box? We're having many choices. You can choose your own. I would choose a jar, a glass jar. Maybe I would choose a box. Or I will choose a treasure box, a treasure box. So based on your items, on you, where, where you are going to hide it, just choose your container, okay? Then, what the capsule contains? What are the items within them? If you remember the Telsa time capsule, what did they add? They added a flag, they added uh, documents, phone, um, a directory, many things. How about you? What would you add in your time capsule? For me, I have many options. For me, I would add a flag. It is a reminder from where I am. Also, I will put a face mask. It is uh, uh, the memory from this year, 2021. Also, Riaz, because it will have all the dates and the numbers and it will commemorate the time. Books, one, uh, one or two from the best-selling books these days. I will go check my favorite books and will add them. Then, a cell phone. It reminds me of online learning and the things that we have been through. A phone, a brand new one. Also, newspapers. Always remember to put magazines, newspapers, because they will, they will hold the dates. They are good things to do. And anything that you want to write down, just write the letter, write down the, the information, a letter from you to your future self there, and add it there. If any item had, had, uh, had come to your mind, just add it there. Then, here, the burial. Now I have got my container and I have put all the items inside. Now I will hide it, it is the hiding time. Where would you hide it? We're having many options, like I would put it, uh, I would bury it in the desert or I would choose to put it in an isolated island somewhere away from everyone or under the water. Maybe it is in the bottle, then I will put it under water or at home, at your backyard, anywhere at your home. I will hide it maybe in my room if it is just five for five years, okay? So, now let's try to do this one on page 46. We're having this table. What will you use as a time capsule? Now we will, make, we'll, we will try to make our own decisions. We're going to hide or make our time capsule and by the end of secondary year, of this secondary year, we're going to open it 
and unearth it together. Okay, so what will be, uh, what will you use as a time capsule, the container? For me, I will use a glass jar because I believe glass can uh, uh, withstand any weather condition. Also, how will you protect the time capsule? I don't wa want water to be inside or I don't want inse insects or anything to get inside. So I will choose a protective cover. Maybe foil, I will cover it. Then, where will you bury the time capsule? The hiding, where would you put it? For me, I will choose in the house yard. I will dig, I will put it, and I will bury it. Maybe you can choose under your bed. Then, what will you put in the time capsule? What are the items? And this is the core of the time capsule. For me, I would choose to put a mask, some books, best-selling books, newspapers, a letter, I will write a letter for my future self, some money, uh, uh, notes and bills, and a cell phone, my, a brand new cell phone. These are the things that remind me with this year. How about here? Why did you choose these things to put in your time capsule? Why a letter, a book, a newspaper, or a mask? For each one, just give your justification. Why? The answer will be, they represent how we live today. I believe these are the things, if someone would look at these items, read this letter, they will know, they will have a complete or a vivid picture of how we live today. Okay, so these are about the project. How about the self-reflection form in page 47? What do I mean when I say self-reflection? The idea of self-reflecting, it is a way of assessing yourself, your ways of working and how you study. It is your time to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, how, uh, ask yourself, how am I doing? Am I doing well in unit, in unit three? Am I going well? Uh, I, I am, uh, am I good in this grammar or this or that? It's not always the teacher's job this time it is your job to tell yourself how good you are in this uh, in this unit so to reflect is to think about your learning and improvement just sit with yourself ask yourself questions how good I am in this okay so let's before we start with the self-reflection part I want to brainstorm ideas. I want you to flip through the unit from the first, first uh, lesson in unit three, so, uh, which was the discussion lesson until today's lesson. What have we taken so far? Think about it. We have, t we have uh, taken predictions using well and going to. A predi we predicted the future of cars and as well as uh, the future of uh, learning. Also, question tags, positive, negative. We have also taken the present tense. Present tense, simple and progressive. And we can use them for the future as well. Also, how to write a story. What are the things you will consider? A time capsule, which is the project lesson, how to come up with your own time capsule. Also, unstressing words. The words that are unimportant, not important within the sentence, you will just say them, them as quick as possible. Also, the idea of future tense. What will you use for the future tense? Present progressive, well, going to, and the future progressive as well. And also, smart buildings or smart houses in the conversation lesson. Go back to these and I will ask you a question. Which one of, ones of these you think it's interesting? I like the idea. For me, I like to read, I would like to read much more about the idea of smart buildings. Something within these, from these, I believe it's not difficult, not hard, but I don't like the idea. Choose any one of these and tell. How about something that you will say, that was easy, that was a piece of cake. Which one? For me, I guess, Unstressing words is a very easy topic. How about something that is a bit challenging? I need to read more on this. Choose anyone, ask yourself, and choose a topic that you need to practice.
practice much more. Let's go over them one by one. At the beginning in here, make predictions about the future. If you want to refer to it, refer to page 34, and you will highlight how good you are doing in this. Let's try to predict the future of computers. How do you think 50 years from now, how computers will look like? I guess computers are going to be green, small, and they will look slim. How about the future cars? In the future, how cars will look like? I guess they are not going to, uh, to work on gas. They will be green. Also, how about learning? Are we going to learn the, the way we learn today? I guess learning will depend on online and virtual learning. Okay? Come up with a product or th something and predict its future. Then, using the future with will or be going to. That was the grammar lesson on page 36. What will you do in, in each case? You have arranged to see your dentist at 5. This is a plan. I am pretty sure I am, I, uh, I am going or will go at 5. It will be, I am going to see a dent my dentist at 5. I have the time in here, so I am pretty sure I am going to. You want to invite your friend over, but you are not so absolutely certain. I'm not very certain. I'm not sure. I will do or I am going to do. Here, I will say, I will invite my friends. Notice, sure. However, here, well, you're not very sure. You're still thinking about it. Okay. So, we have said that the use of well and going to, once with we are much more sure, and the other one is we are reluctant, not certain. So, we will say here, here we're having a pregnant lady. She's pregnant. She have a baby soon. So, she is going to have, she's pregnant. This is the common result. She is going. I am sure she's having a baby. How about a baby girl? Are you sure? I'm not sure. So she will have a baby girl soon. Okay? Sure and not sure. Then in the same page, page 36, we have discussed the idea of future progressive. Well, I'm going to plus progressive, I-N-G. So read the situation and write sentences about the future. Here. You have arranged to spend a week in London and a week in Scotland. Your flight is leaving tomorrow at 5. And it is now 6 p.m. now. So this time tomorrow, we will say, this time tomorrow, I will be flying to London. I will be flying. Notice, future progressive. Then. How about a week from today? What are you going to be doing a week from today? A week from today, I will be driving to Scotland. Read the situation and you will find it there. One week in London and the other week in Scotland. So I will be driving to Scotland. Okay, now here let's try to use the present progressive for the future as well on page 44 to the exhibition with me tomorrow. Notice this is our keyword and it is a question. So we need to start with a helping verb. Do you? You come or are you coming? The choice will be are you coming because this one is future and it is a question so we will start with are. Ned is from New York. He English in Riyadh next year. So teach is teaching or teaches. So next year will be is teaching. He is teaching next year. We can use the future. The future ten, uh, uh, to express the future will be the present progressive tense. Okay, the same thing. Here let's try to use the present progressive. Now I want you to come up with the question. He is taking biology at 10. A question, change the order, is he is he taking biology at 10? Notice the sentence. Yes, he is taking biology at 10. 
Now I want to ask a question about a 10. WH question, the suitable WH question will be, when is he taking biology? And this is the answer, just take it out. When is he taking biology? One more. He is taking biology at 10. Yes, no question, change the order. Is he taking biology at 10? Then, biology, we will use WH question word, which is, what is he taking biology at 10? Take out the answer, so we will take out the answer here. He, what is he taking at 10? Just take out the answer. On page 44, we have discussed the idea of making and responding to suggestions, just like the, like the homework that we have discussed at the beginning of this class. Suggestion is a proposal. Let's look at him. What's wrong with him? He's nervous. He's stressed. He is having, he's busy, let's say. What is your advice or let's say suggestion for him? If I, if I have seen anyone like him, I will say, take a break. Let's. So let's use take a break. Let's take a break. How about taking a break? Or why don't we take a break? So it's take all the time. However, let's take a break. It's a sentence. How about taking a break? It's a question. Why don't we take a break? And it is a question as well. Okay. How about the second one here? It is too hot. If when it is too hot, what will you? What, uh, what is your proposal or your suggestion? Here we will say, have some ice cream. Let's let's have some ice cream. Or how about having some ice cream? Or why don't we have some ice cream? Just notice which one is a question and which one is a sentence. Then, and here, we, uh, the following page, page 45, we're having using question tags or tag questions. Here we will have the sentence and we will notice the, the tag. Scientists are finding a vaccine. Notice, this is the helping verb, positive. So, what will we use in here? We will use the same are, aren't they? Notice this one is negative, aren't they? And the answer is, the answer will be a yes, yes, they are. It's a positive in here. How about the second one? They are not risking people's lives. Here, negative, and this is our verb. Are they positive? And we have used the question mark. Then, no, they are not. This one is a negative. No, they are not risking people's lives. Okay. One more. Use it at a question. It usually rains in winter. From here, we can find the verb, the helping verb. Positive. What will we use? Does, because we have an S. Does not at. And the answer will be, yes, it does. It doesn't usually rain. Uh, yes, it, it rains usually in, uh, in winter. It doesn't rain in summer. Negative, and this is my helping verb. Does it, and the answer will be a negative. So no, it doesn't. We should use here, it doesn't. The following is about the, your favorite words. You can find a long list of words that were mentioned in, your, in this unit on page 70. Some of them are character, exploration, submarine, whale, prediction, attach. Choose, let's say, three to five words from these, these vocab. Try to find the meaning for each one of them if you, if you, don't, under, uh, if you don't understand the meaning and try to put it in a sentence. It will be your favorite word. Three to five of these, where some of them are uh, nouns, others are adjectives, or they are verbs. If you still have any questions, I want you to go back and read through the unit again. Read the whole thing carefully. Then listen to the audio materials, study the grammar and the functions form, 
and in the unit again the grammatical points in the four meaning and function and the grammar lesson and you will find your answers and if you still don't have your answer just ask your teacher they are going to be always there for you. I guess that is it for the lesson today and thank you so much for my time.